안녕하세요 너무원이 여러분 제니스 유튜브하는 모양의 개법보면 라비입니다 Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing some new things since I am finally back. If you have not seen my comeback video, click on me face. Also, be sure to go check out my Dancing Nine Audition video that should be up around now. But today I'm going to be doing a review of 100% Beat. And it just came out like about five minutes ago and I watched the music video and I was very, very confused. So yes, instead of me doing music video reactions, which pretty much everyone would love, I still will be doing some, but not as much as I would like to, but I will be doing more reviews about music videos. So, the first one I am doing is Bekbusen Speak. Uh, Bekbusen, if you didn't know, is 100% in Korean, which is awesome because I know how to say it. 100% uh, just now came out with a new music video called Beat, and it features the five members because Minwoo and Sanghoon from 100% left. Minwoo went to the military for a year. For a year, I don't know why I can't speak. And Sanghoon just left 100% period without a trace. I'm just kidding. He probably just wants to live a normal life and him just be normal and not have to worry about all the stress of an idol, which I can actually kind of understand. So, with 100% new song Beat, it has a different rhythm, and also different vocals and that you've never really heard. You don't hear Minu or Sang Hoon anymore, which is really weird to me because I love listening to their vocals, so them not being there is kind of weird for me. But other than that, let's talk about each member being shot. So of course I'm gonna start off with my bias from 100% and that is Changbum. He got so many short parts, short clips, and it made me so sad because I love him to death. He, oh, I can't, like Changbum. Changbum and Rakyan, they are my biases off of 100%. So, Changbum getting short clips. Rakyan got short clips, and he's the main vocalist. Seeing them to get the shortest amount of clips was really, really shocking to me. Um, especially since Changbum is now the second to Monday, I think, right now, since Sanghun left. Um, I think he was the third Monday. He could be the Monday now. I don't know. I have to look that up. But. Then, Rakyan and Rakyan being the new oldest, he didn't get as many parts as I was hoping. Um, especially because, like, in Bad Boy and, um, Once You Back, Minwoo got all the parts. So I was thinking now that since Minwoo left, Rakyan would be getting more parts because he's the oldest and the main vocalist. But that didn't turn out to what it became. Captain didn't get as many parts either. Either, Like, I was really shocked. It was mostly Chanyeong. Like, Chanyeong. Like, seriously. Chanyeong. The whole time. I was like, are you like another Changjo? Or, let's see. Are you like another Temian or someone? Like, seriously. Like, I was like, uh, I need more members. Not just Chanyeong. There was a little bit of Chongwon in, in some parts. Like, with him with the red hair, which I thought really was really cool because I love Chongwon. Um, it's just, mo it was mostly Ch uh, Chanyoung. And Chanyoung also kissed the girl in this scene right here. And he also has nice abs. So, Chanyoung being the main purpose of this video, I would say, besides the girl, Chanyoung did really well, even though I didn't get to see the other members. I'm just happy that Chanyoung does not have blonde hair. And Rakan doesn't have that blondish hair that he did have. Oh my gosh, guys. Me seeing 100% all of them blonde is not the best thing in the world. Because I kind of had a spaz attack when I saw them with blonde hair. Other than that, the music video was really well in depth. It was really nice. It's something new from Top Media. Um, it's nothing that I've seen from Team Top. I can tell you that for sure. It was a really, really nice music video. It had a lot of, like, at the end, it had... The scene. And I was like, really? What if there are kids that are like below the age of five seeing this and they see this come out 
and you see it like a heart bracelet thingamabobber, and there's blood all over Chang Young. Like, uh, what if there are little kids watching this music video? I feel really bad for them because they'll have nightmares. But it is something completely different from Top Media. I've never seen anything like this from Top Media, Top Entertainment, and it's really nice seeing them. And now I'm kind of worried about what they're going to be doing with Teen Top's next music video once they have their comeback. Um, I'm excited about that, and I'm excited to see their compact performance, because I might actually want to learn this dance. It has a really, really catchy beat, um, something that 100% has always had, because top media, knowing them, they always have to have a catchy beat with songs, as Teen Top has, but, yeah, I really liked 100%'s new music video. It was a little bit graphic, though. Like, not graphic, graphic to where there's bad things. It's just, like, blood. That's pretty much it. That's, that, that's all I could say. And there was a girl that pretty much showed her butt walking in to go, like, do something with Chan Young with, like, armor or whatever. And I was like, okay. And then he kissed the girl. That's pretty much all I could... That's the only thing I paid attention. The mo the main things I was paying attention was to was Rock Young and Chang Bum. That's the main thing. But other than that, that is my review about Bikbacent or 100% Beat music video that just came out five minutes ago, and I spazzed the crap out. My dog was barking because I was screaming so much about Chang Bum and Rock Hyun, and then Chan Young kissing the girl. So, yeah, I'll see you all later. There's more things coming up, more skits, more crazy Robin things, and I'll see you all later. This is your leader, Mane Robin, here from K-pop 1-1, signing off. See you all later. Annyeonghaseya.